Bon pomeriggio beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the background, we still haven't bought enough furniture to fill the walls and I didn't know if I wanted to shoot it just on a plain wall but then it didn't look nice and then this it just looks weird. So this morning I did a amazing, amazing let work out. It was very different, it was all based on supersets um, which were fairly doable even if you have a busy gym because it's all in one area and you can just use different equipment to do it all. It was really really good, it felt amazing and I decided there and then to film it. Um, I only filmed on literally the last set of each exercise which you will probably tell because I was very tired but yeah it was really really good and I thought I would do today a walk through sort of things where I just tell you the exercises give you a few cues about the form just sort of a old style fitness workout video uh, that I haven't done in a while and I just really fancy doing it really recommend it um, just a disclaimer, as always, I am starting to become a PT, but I'm not yet a PT. I am following a program. This is a workout by Coach Mark Carroll from The Glute Guide. So yeah, disclaimer, it's not my workout, but I just wanted to put it out there because it felt really, really good, as I said. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the workout. So after warming up, stretching, you know the drill, just get your body ready. The first superset was really fun. It was a Romanian deadlift and a cast hip thrust. So first thing first, I grabbed a pair of dumbbells and I positioned myself to do 10 reps of Romanian deadlifts. I will put a little clip I did more on the side so that you can really see the form and more specifically the straight back throughout without overarching backwards, as well as my knees that stay more or less in the same position throughout and on the way up, you just have to think about squeezing your glutes and moving them forward, if it makes sense. But yeah, it's a stable movement, it's really, really good for your glutes and your hamstrings and let me tell you if done properly it will burn after finishing with the romanian deadlifts you straight away jump into the cast hip thrusts which we're going to do for 12 reps making sure to position yourself with a bench that sits right below your shoulder blades so that when you go up you are parallel to the floor and at the same height as your knees and basically a cast hip thrust as opposed to a regular hip thrust is due to the fact that instead of doing a full range of motion of the reps you sort of doing sort of like a, a half rep so it's not a pulse at the top but rather going down halfway just to continue having that tension throughout the movement on the way up and on the way down and let me tell you that makes it 10 times harder even with a lower weight so yeah just try them see if you're comfortable doing them but really really think about squeezing your glutes on the way up and then keeping them contracted keeping them engaged even on the way down so that you're never sort of releasing the weight mindlessly but you are constantly keeping the weight under tension and that's it that was the first superset and then you take a rest for a minute two or three whatever you fancy and then you do it another three times over so that that's a total of four sets of two exercises 10 reps for the romanian deadlift and 12 reps for the cast hip thrusts now for the second superset if possible you're going to stay in the same area that you did the previous two and you're going to position the barbell at your knee height so that you can do the first exercise which is back foot elevated split squats superset it with goblet squats. So for the back foot elevated split squats, as I said, you're going to put your foot on the barbell with a pad if you can, just to make it easier. And that is going to really, really relieve the pressure of your foot because if you put it on a bench, the foot is sort of pushed backwards a bit. And for me personally, I found it to be uncomfortable, slightly painful, and as well, my form throughout the exercise is not as good because I feel like constrained. And the best way that I found to get that distance between your back foot and your front foot to get the movement right is to sit on your 
barbell and then stretch the front leg forward and wherever that heel hits the floor that's where you're going to step and once you've done that you grab your dumbbells and you put your back straight slightly leaning forward and you start doing 10 reps per side again making sure that you are leaning slightly forward for your balance you are really really thinking about going down and backwards if it makes sense or almost like a diagonal backwards um, so that is going to really engage your glutes and then when you go on the way up you're gonna start the movement from your heel and although it's not technically correct as you can see I tend to push my toes up to really really ensure that I'm pushing from my heel so yeah it's a little bit exaggerated but that's what helps me remember the cue that i have to push with my glute and with my heel upwards then once you finish that you're gonna straight away jump into the front goblet squat here i just grabbed a dumbbell but you can grab a kettlebell or a sack whatever you have available and you are going to make sure to put it in front of you to engage your abs the only thing i did was to push again with my heels just to make sure that the movement was mainly driven by the posterior side of my legs so my glutes and my hamstrings i kept my back fairly straight throughout a little bit of arching of the butt at the bottom is all right it's not ideal i'm working on it it's about mobility it's about you know stretching and improving um i'm getting there but yeah it's not the best so if you can do it better than me then that's amazing and you're going to do that for 10 reps again and then you're gonna take a break for whatever you want a minute two three whatever you need and then again you're going to repeat it three more times for a total of four sets and finally the last superset again i told you this was a superset kind of workout which i loved uh, we're gonna go to the cable machine and we're going to do kickbacks 15 per leg and then standing side abduction still at the cable machine so first of all you're going to start doing kickbacks and these are straight leg kickbacks but most importantly this is the top range of the movement so it's sort of like a pose but a little bit more exaggerated so that the leg does a little bit more of movement as opposed to just keep pulsing at the top and yeah you're going to try doing 15 reps per leg it's quite hard you will really really feel it in your glutes which is amazing here i leaned slightly forward so that i could grab onto the stable part of the cable machine and then i really really squeezed my glute every time my leg was going up and that as i said is going to really emphasize the movement onto the right part of your leg and then once you finish with the kickbacks on both sides you're going to stay on that machine and you're going to do lateral hip adductions 10 to 15 reps per side just because these are slightly harder to do in my opinion I found that if i lean slightly forward engage my core and put one arm on my hip it's really really helping me to keep that balance to feel the movement on the side of my glutes similar to a hip abduction on the machine or with the resistance band and yeah we're going to just do 10 reps per leg really feeling that movement on the side of the glutes really engaging my muscle and having that my muscle connection and we're going to repeat this last superset for a total of three times so once you've done it the first time again you rest and you repeat it twice more and that's it this was again a super simple fairly quick workout that because it's all about supersets and you don't have a rest between the first exercise and the second exercise of each superset it's really really hard it's really intense it really puts your muscles to test but again amazing if done properly it's one of the best tools that you can have and again if it's a really busy gym um and you know on one hand it might be difficult to find all this equipment but on the other if it's really busy you just grab those two things and you know that at least you've done all of that in one space without having to move around and wait for other machines etc etc so yeah i really really enjoyed it again this is not my workout i didn't create it but i did modify a few of these exercises according to my goals um, just because I am I tend to be quite dominant and so I changed the placement on my feet and things like that so yeah I'm not gonna disclose 
exactly because I feel like that's part of the workout program so if I go into too much into detail I'm basically giving I don't know his information and he's at work for free I don't know but anyhow this is the workout adjusted to me, adjusted to me wanting to target my glutes and my hamstrings a little bit more. And he really explains really, really well how to do that and how to make these judgment calls according to your own body. So yeah, not sponsored. He didn't ask me to do this. I just, yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. So I just really wanted to talk about it and walk you through it and hopefully you give it a try. Really hope you like it. If you did, then please, don't forget to let me know, to like this video and as well to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the bell notifications on so you know when I upload. I am trying to now stick to a schedule so I'm thinking to upload videos every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Don't know if I'll manage to do it with work but we shall try. I really hope that you will join me on YouTube and as well I add workouts fairly regularly on my Instagram so yeah don't forget to check that out and yeah and hopefully we'll see you next time ciao